the most unlikely collab you never thought you'd see, did you know that Peloton and TikTok have been partnering up the past 18 months? This was news to me. According to Peloton's website, Peloton has a dedicated co-branded hub that houses custom Peloton content under the hashtag of TikTok Fitness. We can expect to see live Peloton classes, but in my mind, TikTok videos are best done in short, concise pieces. It is said that the TikTok algorithm favors videos that are in length of 21 to 34 seconds long. These videos tend to get the most views and engagement. From my experience, if you film a TikTok video longer than 60 seconds, expect to cut it down to the one minute mark if you also wanna upload it to YouTube Shorts as the maximum length for YouTube Shorts is one minute. Of course, Peloton has their own hashtag as well. It is hashtag one Peloton. It has roughly 150,000 followers and roughly 3.4 million views. TikTok came out in September of 2016 and is created by ByteDance. It became the most downloaded app in the United States in October of 2018, which is almost six years ago. Of course, in recent times, because of a law that was passed in mid-April of this year, if ByteDance, its Chinese owner, doesn't sell the app, it will be banned in the US. Personally, for me, it's hard to imagine TikTok being banned. So as we're uploading, creating, and consuming content on this app, we have that fear in our mind that it may disappear. According to the website highsocial.com, they estimate TikTok to have a market cap of an incredible $200 billion, making it the most valuable unicorn on the global stage. A unicorn company is one with a market cap of at least $1 billion. CBinsights.com has a complete list of the unicorn companies with ByteDance squarely at the top, followed by SpaceX and OpenAI. Let's take a quick peek at the TikTok fitness hashtag. So here we're typing TikTok fitness Peloton. This is what shows up. It's your girl Ali Love here, right from the studio. Here's another one from the instructor, Emma Lovewell. Three things you didn't know about your Peloton. One, did you know that you can search your and if we type TikTok fitness, this is what comes up. We just have some user accounts on their fitness journey. So for some reason, I was expecting to see more Peloton fitness instructor related content. These are all personal fitness videos, roughly in the duration of less than one minute. On the top, they say TikTok fitness powered by Peloton. So under the TikTok fitness search bar, I have the top results here. If we switch to live, which I would hope to see more like instructor led classes, once again, it's still personal accounts. So I understand how Peloton owns this hashtag and it's their own platform, but I'm not sure how Peloton related or actually feels. I mean, when I don't that. They also have a related category of shop where you can find related products, not necessarily featured in the videos, but just stuff that they are advertising for. And there's still a live mode as well. For help. From the Lima one, two, three of my app, so many samples in here, as you can see. All right, I will just show you what you make. Thing, add it to your cart now. It is a nine resolution, the 720p. For me, I'm a relatively new TikTok user. I've been on YouTube for a lot longer than I have TikTok. I don't wanna say it's a generational thing, but I did hold off quite a few years from joining TikTok. My TikTok focuses on food-related content locally to where I am, and I feel like a good balance to eating and reviewing would be fitness, because obviously you have to burn off the calories somehow. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you like content like this. Comment down below, do you own a TikTok? Do you upload content on that app? Do you think it's actually gonna be banned in the US later this year? And what is your opinion on the Peloton and TikTok collaboration? With that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.